the gospel of the Lord. While parishioners at St. Bartholomew's Church in Bethesda, Maryland focus on scripture, Father Mark Nestout fields questions from students in religion class. So each one to you. This is kind of like a random question, but how come God didn't get angry at the men who killed Jesus? How come God didn't get angry at the men who killed Jesus? That is a, not a random question, that's an excellent question. The Bible. Catholic education or not, the Word of God can sometimes be confusing. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Well, a lot of the times the scripture's confusing. Um, and, you know, it was written a long time ago and translated a bunch of times. And sometimes the words, even the words of Jesus, and they're not even the old scripture, they don't really make sense. In 70 years, 76 years of being a Catholic, I've heard very few good sermons in the Catholic Church. We've had a couple of good ones here, Father Mark, but he was trained as a Baptist. The story of Moses holding up the staff is it's unique that because he becomes weary, seven of them come over, they provide a stone for him to sit on, and they hold up his arms. You can't see it, or can you see it? What you're trying to do is take the scriptures uh, which were written many, many centuries ago, but apply them to everyday life. Uh, and that's, our, that's the ultimate goal. I'd say about 20% of the time I think, I'm not sure if what I'm saying is making sense to them. Um, but then the Holy Spirit seems to intervene and you know, on the way out the door at the end of Mass, they seem to say, oh, Father, that was an excellent comment that you made. And so that's really not me, it's the Holy Spirit speaking, I think. The priest we have right now fits my model of the perfect homilist. He reads the Testament, he does his homework, he tells me one or two things I can do this week that would make me carry out the, the guidance of Christ and help me bring the kingdom of God around. Never seen that before. I've heard five sermons, every one of them has done that. It's short, it's non-egotistical and he's done his homework on the gospel. So he relates that gospel to my life. And he doesn't give me too much to do. He just gives me a little thing I can do work on this week. And it is really great to come to a mass and get that, because that's one of the big reasons I come here. I come here to thank God, I come here to thank my mom and dad who I overlooked while they were alive, and uh, to pray. I've always really connected um, and relied on the homily and the priest's personal touch um, and his own unique way of describing the scripture and talking to us directly. And um, that ha can have a big influence because he puts it in terms that you can relate to more readily without having to, you know, meditate and really get deep into thought and paw, you know, like pour over the scriptures and really try to translate it and say, ah, this is how it relates to me. The priest does that immediately and, you know, sometimes very successfully. Into their promised land, eventually. And it's the staff which has been used to give them water.